Hi, today we are on the topic of expected value and variance of the sum of two independent variables. Now, let x and y be two independent variables. I will show you the proof this, of these two commonly used formula. Now, let's begin by doing the, the one in blue. Now what do you understand by the term expected value? The expected value is the mean. So we can rewrite this formula in this form. Expected value of Ax plus By will then be equals to the summation of from i equals to 1 to n of Axi plus b y i over n now this is the formula for average now you can use the knowledge in the summation this you can expand this out so this will be equals to a into the summation of i equals to 1 to n x of i plus b summation from i1 to n yi over n now you can break these two into two partial fraction now if you look at it closely what is this term here this is the average of x whereas this is the average of y now we can rewrite it in this form a expect into expected value of x plus b into the expected value of y now i have proven the formula in blue now let's move on to the formula in orangey yellow now variance there's a formula for variance now it can be right rewrite rewritten in a in terms of expected value now maybe i just show you over here now what is the variance of x Variance of x can be rewritten as expected value of x square minus the expected value of x whole thing squared. Okay, so we will make use of this formula to prove. Now, first we rewrite this variance ax plus b in this form. So that would be equals to expected value of a x plus b y squared minus expected value of a x plus b y. Then you have to square this term over here. Now let's expand this. Now so this will be expected value of a square x square plus b square y square plus 2 a b x into x y now what is this term this term will be minus expected value of uh, sorry maybe i just erase this now minus, I can take the a out into a times expected value of x minus, or oh, I put a plus, I put a bracket, okay, maybe it's easier that way, plus b expected value of y, then whole thing squared. Now let me copy this term down, so over here will be expected value of 
uh, or I can just expand it huh? expand it first so I will have a squared into expected value of x squared plus b squared into expected value of y squared plus 2ab expected value of the product of x and y then followed by minus now, I remember this is negative here. So if I square this, it will be a squared expected values of x squared. So it will be expected value of x whole thing squared. Now, I, I expand this. Now, don't forget there's a minus over here. So it will be minus b squared expected value of y squared plus 2ab expected value of x and expected value of y. Now, if x and y are independent, that means, now if they are independent, that means the expected value of their product will be the product of their expected value. Okay. Now, so that this term will be equal to this term. Okay. That means, let me use something that is this is equals to 2ab expected value of x expected value of y. Reason being because they are independent. Uh, this should be negative. No, there's a bracket. No, this should be negative because it's negative over here. Alright, this should be negative. Okay. Now, if they are, if I add them up, okay, what will you get? These two will cancel each other. Then I have a squared into expected value of x squared minus a squared expected value of x whole thing squared plus b squared expected value of y squared minus b squared expected value of y whole thing squared now if i take the a out then if i factorize this then over here will be expected value of x squared minus expected value of x whole thing squared plus b squared into expected value of y squared minus expected value of y whole thing squared now what is this this is variance x right so i have a squared variance of x plus b squared variance of y okay now for that we have finished the proof of the second formula uh, the second formula is this now what happened if this is minus all right if it what happen if this is ax minus by now in the same way it can be easily proven that this will be equals to a 
into expected value of x minus b into expected value of y. Okay. Now, this is a bit tricky. This one is very simple. You just, you just substitute b as minus b. All right. Then you will be able to prove this formula. Now, look at this. Now, what happens if it is minus? That means variance ax minus by. What will you get? Now, this can be rewritten as variance ax plus minus b y. Then I close bracket. Now, this is what will I get for this? I will get variance uh, if I if I make use of this formula, uh, I can I can just now if I break this up using the above formula, I will get a squared variance x. Now b now becomes minus b, so this will be minus b squared variance of y and that becomes a squared variance x plus b squared variance y okay now maybe i can just put a negative here then here will be a negative now, if this is a, uh, I use a different color. If this is negative, this will still remains as a plus. Okay. For that, we have come to the end of this lesson. Thank you for watching. Now, if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you and have a nice day.